Listen to me, O coastlands. Pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword, but the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow, and his quiver, he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant. Israel, in whom I will be glorified, but I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord, and my reward with my God. And now the Lord says, Who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you us as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and His Holy One, to one deeply despised, lord by the nations, the slave of rulers. Kings shall see and stand up, princes, and they shall prostrate themselves because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. Please stand for the reading. Jesus, the Lamb of God. The next day, John saw, I'm sorry, I'm reading John 1, uh, 29 through 42. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God, who takes away the Son of the world, this is the one I meant when I said, A man who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. I myself did not know him. But the reason I came baptizing with water was that he might be revealed to Israel. Then John gave this testimony. I saw the spirits come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him. I would not have known him except that the one who sent me to baptize with water told me. The man on whom you are, you, you are the spirit come down and remain is, is he who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. I have seen and I testify that this is the Son of God. The next day John was there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look, the Lamb of God. When the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, What do you want? They said, Rabbi, where, where are you staying? Come, he replied, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying and spent that day with him. It was about the tenth hour. Andrew Simon, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who had heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother, Simon, and tell him, we have found the Messiah, and, we, and he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You will be called Cephas, which when translated is Peter. The word of God for the people of God. Praise, Praise be to God. God.